Good morning, friends, and welcome to episode 15. I know some of you have been waiting for a while for this one, but look who's joining me for my morning coffee. Isn't he beautiful? He, she, I'm not sure. But it's supposed to be hot today, so we're going to work inside in the air conditioning. And we've started by moving everything from one side of the room over to the other. Just trying to clear one side, because this is gonna be the side we're gonna start the floor on. So we need to finish getting the carpet up and all of the staples. You know, on that note, I've watched a lot of fixer upper remodel type TV shows. I love those shows. I'm sure you guys have too. They never really show how long it takes to actually do the remodel and to finish it. Um, there's a lot of little things that I didn't think of, like pulling individual staples and splinters and bad moods and like sweeping even takes a long time. I, I feel like I'm constantly sweeping, like sweeping up the staples so you can see where you've been and where you haven't. But my husband's tired of me filming him too. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing here is we're using a primer on the floor not only to block smells that have accumulated in this particle board, it's particle board that was under the carpet. So it would soak up any liquid and the floor leveler that we're gonna use is liquid. So we need to seal this floor and yeah. So it's time consuming. Okay, so while he's doing that in the house, I thought I'd come up and water my garden. Um, and then I thought, well, I'm gonna show you guys because a lot of you ask about my garden. So my beans are doing fantastic. Everything in the garden is doing amazing. Um, I'm probably gonna pickle those. I like the really hot spicy ones. So this is my lettuce and kale. It likes it in this corner because I've got like a little wall there with my cucumbers and with the beans growing up the arbors, it kind of gives like a little shady spot for my lettuce to grow. It's sunny right now there, but usually it's in the shade. Pulled my peas, but I've got some new ones planted here and they should be doing well in this heat. Um, my onions are doing great. If you guys want big onions, make sure and pull the dirt away from them while they're growing. That's gonna make the onions really big. So I thought I'd throw that out there in case nobody knew that. Um, my peppers are doing amazing. I'll use those in a tomato sauce later. My Brussels sprouts are getting big. My husband loves those. I'm gonna try to pickle those this year. I've never done that before. My zucchini's going crazy. I've got Swiss chard growing here and some collard greens there. And uh, this is where my cabbage was but I pulled it and as soon as I did the marigolds went crazy and actually I made sauerkraut out of the cabbage so in here I got cucumbers more peppers my artichokes of course some cilantro my beans these are the ones I had to replant if you guys remember um, so my strawberries I'm gonna move those this fall and my tomatoes are going crazy in this heat. I swear they're growing like a foot a day. Can't even see the marigolds in front of them anymore. They're all green still though. I've only gotten like a couple of red tomatoes so far, but they're huge. I've also got in here some asparagus and a lemon cucumber and some regular cucumber and a couple peas. I've never grown lemon cucumber before, so if anybody's got any great recipes, let me know. In here, I've got pumpkins, and they are doing amazing. Every year, the pumpkins go crazy in there. So over here, I've got my flowers. I love to have fresh cut flowers in the house. Of course, I'm not really doing any much of any flowers in the house right now but you can see how far away the garden is from the house it's not far i also wanted to point out my planters aren't they great they're almost completely finished so i i absolutely love how they turned out so basically that's what we did today um it took longer than we thought so it's just a really relaxing evening so we're just going to enjoy the rest of the night and we had a beautiful sunset too so it was a perfect warm summer night
Good morning. I'm ready for another busy day. Last night I actually had to pack more stuff and move it out of the living room and we actually moved a lot of furniture out on the, to the deck too to get it out of the way. Well, somebody woke up in a good mood. I guess that's a good sign because we've got a lot to do today and a good mood is going to help. <laughs> so like I said, we moved a lot of stuff outside and um, packed up a bunch of little stuff. I had to pack up stuff like dishes in the corner hutch and the china cabinet just to be able to move them. So my flooring is in the hallway now. It got moved and we're kind of moving everything on the other side now. So tearing out the rest of the carpet and of course more staples. That's a mouse nest. Mm. Yeah. Okay, did you guys catch that? The wet spot on this end of the wall is from mice. Oh, and there's the mouse. Is he dead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> The wall? Yeah. Could maybe it'd be better to do it on the other side though. You can help me. Uh, I'll have you move this board with me. You kind of push down on that end. Okay, so basically what we're doing is using this level to see and mark the floors where it's not level to see where we're gonna have to put the leveler more. Um, and he's using uh, spray paint to make the marks really visible. So over by the window, it's like an inch and some places more that it needs to be filled in. So he's gonna build up a lot of it with plywood. Okay, so you just put a sealer on this. Mm -hmm. A sealer for the self-leveling floor. Okay, so maybe explain to everybody what exactly all of this is? Well, there was a lot of sagging in this mobile home on one edge, so we built it up with the wood, and then we put um, to be as close to level with the wood, and then we went ahead and put sealer on that for the better adhesion for the self-leveling concrete compound that goes over it to give us a perfectly level surface. Okay. So basically to put the new floors down, we need a flat floor and this wasn't flat. Yeah, most mobile homes that are built in the 70s are not flat after they've sat that long. So this is just to build it up so we don't have to use as much of the self leveler. Yep. Okay, so this is that sealer that's gonna seal it like basically like the primer would have, so. What are you doing? I'm cutting. A power saw. Oh, you get dust so everywhere. I see. Yeah, I changed the vent. Move it over oh. there instead of here. Perfect. Yeah, but I'll make a mess if I don't do this. You're so thoughtful.
Okay, so last minute sealing off edges before we put the floor leveler on. Heavy. It's over 50 pounds. Wow. Oh. Might as well try this little spot. Okay, so it is a really weird feeling to be dumping liquid on the floor in the house, but there it is. It's in its low areas. It runs into the low areas. I think it was like seven or eight bags that we used. It would have been a lot more without that plywood. So all we can do is just wait till it dries now. So I think it said in four hours you can walk on it. So we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the night. There's really nothing we could do tonight. So we're gonna barbecue and finish up some just regular household chores and just enjoy the night. Okay guys, I feel like we've really crammed a lot in these last two days and I'm excited about it. It feels like it's taken forever since we even did a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great night and a great summer at that. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, bye-bye.